renovation time in our village and I would like to show you around the different materials. This renovation normally happens in the dry season because no farming is taking place. All there is is for people to take care of their sweet homes where they dwell. So here are some of the materials we use. All our materials are entirely sustainable. Here are some of the materials that we use. As you see the houses behind me, they are mud grass thatched houses. These are very good to the nature and the environment. Mm -hmm. So the materials used are mainly from the trees. And I feel this kind of construction does not affect Mother Earth in any single way. So these are mainly, they are flexible, they can bend like this because our hearts are circular. If someone's going to repair the wall, they can use this or even the roof, they can use part of that to tie and reinforce the roof. Uh, all these, as you can see. And it takes us around uh, 15 years to renovate the roof. Yeah, but for the floor, we only do it once in every dry season because we have two dry seasons and two dry seasons. These are also for constructing. These are logs constructing our houses are entirely constructed by materials from the earth nothing modified nothing modified at all these two are poles these long ones are for roofing to make the roof like this yeah these are long ones the other ones are for the walls the other ones for the side and the grass grasses are here but the issue is this one didn't stack the grasses up when you stack the grasses up you avoid such problems come and see the problem these termites have started invading here. Yeah? That's why it is always advisable to build a rack and you stack the grasses on top of that rack. Are we together? So in the dry season is when you're going to see most of the houses looking their best, looking beautiful. So this one has just renovated their wall with black soil. As you can see, this is so dark compared to this one. There is a, a, a black mineral we buy from the market that we use to smear on the walls and make them that beautiful otherwise walk with me around the hall and see
in our village living it's so hard having one person do all the chores so someone is always doing something and not just one person alone but everyone at home oh yes the little kids can be drawing water from the river of course under supervision of someone old and as someone is cleaning the utensils you can see in my background there is someone washing something like we always work together like they say teamwork makes the dream work so that's what we always do like it's i don't know want to say like is it distribution of labor or something but as someone is making breakfast another one is sweeping the compound another one is washing the other one is cleaning utensils or something like that so it's not uh in the village it's not a one man show actually it is so hard to be independent in an african village because we value working together so much like it's everything work is not just like a burden but also a means of bonding that's what it is <laughs> Oh, my God.